Hello, I'm Leona Dooley and this is Ebony Ivy and Time in the kitchen. And tonight in the kitchen, we are going to prepare some wings. Now, of course, I'm preparing wings for two. And you will probably be preparing wings for a much larger crowd. Now, if you are football fans or um, you have family night or game night, this is a great opportunity to be able to put some wings together. They're gonna to prepare in the oven and uh, you can take them out and have them sitting so that everyone can enjoy them. And I promise you, no matter how many wings you prepare, you're not gonna have enough because they're gonna be eaten and they're gonna be eaten quickly. So I'm gonna take you along and show you what I do. Now, I'm gonna turn you down so you'll be able to see what I'm doing for tonight. All right, I have already cut and prepared the wings that we're gonna be eating tonight. And I have the rest of the family pack over here off to the side. And I'm gonna take those, I'm gonna put them in this freezer Ziploc bag. And in an effort to keep things pretty clean, I'm going to open this container and hope that all of these little wingies will just plop right in. And we'll see if that works. That's my plan anyway. Well, of course that's not going to work. The great best laid plans of mice and men never work. All right, so we're putting the wings, the leftover wings for us in there. And I can use them later. I can either prepare more wings. I can certainly use them to make chicken broth and to put together some uh, chicken noodle soup or some chicken and dumplings or chicken and vegetable. You'll notice that I also have some little wingettes that are over here on the end. Those are the little end pieces that most people get rid of. And... Uh, I'm going to take those and they're actually going to go into a pot. I'm going to boil those and make some chicken broth for a dish later that I'll use later in the week. Now what I'm going to do at this point, I'm going to mark the bag and get that ready for the freezer. And it's ready so we've got right on here chicken wings and it is 10 14 I think all right or 10 13 Oops. all right so they're good to go they're good to go and they are ready for the freezer so I will lay those in the freezer so they can start to freeze and get the other ones into a container. All right, now, let me get this put away. I'm gonna put the wings into this cup and I'm using my hand only because I know I'm getting ready to wash everything. So I'm putting these into a little separate from the rest of the chicken. Now I'm going to pick this board up. The board's going to go into the, the sink of soapy hot water because you know I always have to sink of soapy hot water so that I can keep things clean as we prepare. So I'm going to wipe this down and we will be ready to work. I'm going to take this away only because I don't know if there was anything splashed. So that's gone. And everything's cleaned up. So what I'm going to do is to 
take some wax paper, put it across this area, and I do that after it's damp because it'll stay in place a little easier, as you can see. And then I'll go over here and give it a tape. Okay, that's good to go, ready to go. All right, so in this bowl with our wings, we need seasoning, we need uh, some cornstarch. I'm gonna start with pepper. I'm gonna give it quite a bit of pepper and I'm gonna shake all this up eventually. Here's our pepper. I'm gonna give it a little celery salt. I'm using celery salt only because that will keep me from really needing additional salt. All right, to this bowl, I have added in three heaping tablespoons of cornstarch. I've added in about a half a tablespoon of paprika, and I'm adding in a smidget of pepperoncino. And we're gonna make sure that these wings are well seasoned. Now, I'm going to toss them because I want them to get coated. And in fact, I'm going to sprinkle just a tiny bit of moisture in. I'm just putting a little bit on my hand. And just sprinkling a little bit in. The reason for that is so that uh, there's a little bit of moisture. Now I'm going to continue to fold and fold until everything is well mixed. You'll probably have some of the cornstarch mixture left over in the bottom. That's okay. You'd rather have a little too much than not enough at all. And of course, you'll adjust these amounts when you are preparing a larger batch. This is a small batch. I could have certainly added probably half of those wings in what I prepared, but that was for your sake to be able to see. Now, as you can see, our wings are nice and covered. Yummy. Okay. Now, I'm going to give them... 30 minutes. They need 30 minutes to just sit here and soak up the goodness. If you see some that doesn't have anything on it, and you know, to flip it and let it get in there and uh, get floury. The moisture helps a little bit, helps it stick, and as it sits, it's going to uh, soak up the skin and the ch and the chicken will soak up some of that flour mixture. Okay, so everything has been well covered, and uh, so there we go. All right, so that's done. I'm going to set this off on the side and get everything put away. I'm, I have my oven on 425 so that it's getting hot. I'm using a cookie sheet that I'm going to place uh, the wings on. And I'm going to let them cook probably at least uh, 15 or more minutes. I want them to get just a, just a little golden brown, but not dried out. I want them to be done, but like I said, not dried out. Now... Just a reminder that at the end of this month, you can certainly send me your email. I have a free Thanksgiving uh, cookbook that I am going to give away to each person that I receive an email from. So I'm looking forward to seeing your email so that I can send it to you and you will have something already together for Thanksgiving. It includes Thanksgiving week, the holiday week, all the way through from pretty much from uh, Monday through Saturday. 
day after uh, Black Friday. And so, because uh, I figure those are the days you may have company and people coming in. So I hope you will uh, send for that cookbook. I'm looking forward to that. And uh, so, there we go. I'll bring you back at the end of our waiting time. So here's our wings. They are ready to, they just need a little more time to soak and then we'll be ready to put them on the hot pan. All right, for those of us who um, are non-alcoholic people, I'm going to put a little can, uh, a little container of sauce together and I'm going to show you the directions prior to adding any type of alcohol whatsoever. And I leave that part up to you. I'm going to use some uh, chili sauce. And I'm not going to use a large amount because I only have a few wings. So I'm going to start with some chili sauce. And I'm putting in probably half the bottle. About a half a bottle. And then... I'm going to add in a couple, three or four tablespoons of orange marmalade. And this is Smucker's. I like Smucker's. And uh, I'm trying to get the top out of here, just in case you're wondering. Okay, chili sauce, that'll go in the refrigerator and throw this away. But we're going to add, and I'm going to do a rough estimate using just a fork of our smucker. Let me get a make sure it's good. There we go. One two I think I'll do a third one. Three. Because you want the sauce to tighten up. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to stir, stir, stir. And it's going to concentrate as it bubbles. And I'm going to let this simmer while my uh, wings are in the oven. Oh, that's good. Now, actually, I think I want a little more. So I'm going to grab a knife or a spoon, whatever I get to first. So we'll say we're adding four and five. So I want that good orange flavor to come through the smuckers orange marmalade. Now, you know, the cool thing with these with this with this mix, you could actually put this over some meatballs if you're having meatballs on your Thanksgiving table. Some people have a real smorgasbord of dishes because they have a lot of people. And if you have a large family, I'm sure you've got a smorgasbord too of where you got a lot of people bringing a lot of different things, which is kind of nice because I know I usually do those things that require the oven and uh, like the turkey predominantly, you know, other dishes people can bring, but the turkey, I usually, the turkey and the dressing, to be honest with you, I always do when it's at my house. Okay, that's good. Brings out enough heat from the chili sauce and brings out the sweetness from the orange marmalade. Now I'm going to put a top on this and I'm going to let it simmer. I'm going to put it on about a medium temperature and uh, allow that to come up. I don't want it to burn, but I do want it to have kind of a constant bulk. Okay, I'm 
The reason I'm baking these, a lot of times I'll just fry them, but I'm baking these because I, uh, I know, you know, Thanksgiving, we're eating so much different kinds, so many different kinds of food. It's kind of nice to have something that's, number one, not fried, and uh, that's always the best thing to do. So we're going to try to be good. So I've got my cookie sheet that I'm taking out. On that cookie sheet, I'm going to lay out some parchment paper. Let's see if I have one that's open. I do. sheets. It's been around, Lord, 30 years at least. So I am going to take each of these wings, give it just a little shake, 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 shake. Trying to lay it so that the skin side is up. Let me, uh, Take my spoon out. Make sure the skin sides up. Now the reason for putting it on such a, on, on a cookie sheet is so that more sides of the chicken is 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 cooked is baked and uh, it just gets a better brown and uh, overall cooks a little faster. So we've got my wings ready, and you may have several pans of wings if you have a huge family. But this is enough for Papa and I. So, into the oven, our 425 oven. And we're going to let it cook. I'll let you know exactly how long it took. And um, bring you back when they're ready to come out of the oven. Now, over, over on the back burner, you're going to see that I have the sauce right back there and it's bubbling and I have a jigger glass of rum so I'm going to add some rum into this sauce and when you do that you've got to give it enough room because it's going to kind of go crazy for a few minutes I'm going to take my spoon and give that a good stir and it smells wonderful. That was just some clear Bacardi. So these are rumbling wings. I use Bacardi a lot in cooking and especially for the holidays. I use it in cakes. Um, my jam cake that I make very often, I will soak it in Bacardi's, if not in bourbon. And uh, sometimes I don't soak it at all, but it just depends on who's coming for dinner. I know that we have a, a select variety of people, people who can handle it, that I know we have enough dessert that I don't have to be concerned about those who cannot have alcohol. Some people can't have alcohol. And, uh, you know, you have to respect that. And if that's the case, then do not serve alcohol. If you know there's someone who's sensitive, don't have it. Don't have the alcohol. Don't even put them in that temptation. So this would not, I would not add alcohol to this if I knew that were the case. 
Now we don't want to be responsible for someone faltering. And uh, I'm going to let them continue to cook and to bubble. All right. I'll give it a little taste. Mmm. Oh, that's going to be good. All right. So I'll bring you back in just a little while. While dinner is cooking, I'm setting up for some apple blondies tomorrow. Um, a friend from church, uh, Val, um, went to the apple farm and did some apple picking. And as she was coming out, she saw me and gave me a nice big handful of apples and said, I know you like cooking those apples and cooking up all kinds of apple desserts. So guess what? We're going to be fixing an apple dessert. So what I'm done with these apples is that I've grated them pretty small. I'm going to take about a teaspoon of apple pie filling and uh, I'm going to sprinkle that over the apples. I'm going to add in about three tablespoons of sugar and I'm going to let that go for the night and just kind of put it and let it just um, get happy with its flavors and uh, let me find my sugar. There we go. those wings are getting ready and here we go let's put those uh you know this is a good time well i'm thinking about it. this is a good time when uh you have something in the oven you have to wait for everything's clean except for what we're going to be eating on and with the cookie sheet we've covered with uh We covered with parchment paper, so it really, in the end, that should be a fast cleanup. So the only pot I really have to clean is the pan that the sauce is cooking in, and that should go along pretty quickly. Now, so I've got in the three tablespoons of uh, sugar. I'm going to put in one tablespoon of flour, and the reason for that is so that Once those apples are in the, the recipe, they will not fall. So I'm going to take a tablespoon and two. It makes up a great kind of sauciness within that apple. And uh, those apples are going to be delicious when it's time to prepare it tomorrow. So we're working ahead of time. I'm going to put the flour right there. I'm going to take this and just kind of give it a little, a little stir. Oh, you know what I need to add? I need to add in about a teaspoon of salt so that, um, and I'll just have to remember that I've already put salt in it and that will help break down the apples. So, teaspoon of salt. There we go. Now, let's uh, stir this up. Those uh, wings are looking pretty good. They're going to be ready to come out of there in a, just a few minutes. It's been about 30 minutes. And I'm really just kind of waiting for them to get a little browner. But the sauce is ready. It's juicy and it's... Well, I won't say so much juicy, but it's gotten thicker and um, it clings to my spoon when I put it in. So that's a good thing. So as it cools on those wings, it's going to be nice and gooey and uh, it's going to be so good. So I can't wait. So we've got cinnamon and our salt. Our sugar because you always need the salt with the sugar because it brings out the flavors. I'm going to take this and I'm going to put a 
um, a top on it. Okay, those apples are ready. Mm. That's going to be really good tomorrow when it's time to fix those apples. That apple blondie. Let me put the top on it. And an apple blondie is one of those things that you want to cook just before, let it finish up as your guest are coming into your kitchen. And, uh, well, in fact, you won't even have to call them to the kitchen because the smell of the blondies is going to be so delicious that they're going to come straight to the kitchen and they're going to say, what are you doing? So, Les, I'm going to take a peek at the wings and uh, bring you right back. I've taken the wings off the pan, and here's our parchment paper that I'm folding up and throwing away. The wings are in a bowl. I'm going to braid them over. I'm sit them there. I'm going to take the top off of our saucepan. I'm going to turn it off. I need to sit it on a hot pot. There we go. Let me get a something to stir with. And you can see that it's still bubbling. Oh, it is so good. Now what I'm going to do is then I'm just going to pour those wings into the sauce. Well, in fact, I think I'll put the wings in the sauce. That may be a little easier. Drop them in. Let them get happy in there. Since I decided on such a small bowl for them to go into. through with these because these are going to have to go back in the oven. I'm just going to put a clean piece of parchment on that pan. And these are going to go back into the oven. I'm going to get down there and get full of sauce. Okay, that part's done. I'm going to get some more parchment. Turn it to 400. The oven's still hot. And push him down in the sauce. I'm going to take my tongs and I'm going to ooh, take that over. I better use something before I burn my hand. And I'm going to put this right, put these right on the on the pan. We want this sauce to just cook right on those wings. I'm trying to do it skin side up. Yeah, you're gonna have some sauce left over, that's fine. Okay. Now, while that is uh, cooking, 
I'll get the rest of the things cleaned up and we'll be ready to serve dinner in just a moment. Well, there they are. Aren't they beautiful? They've been basted twice and they are hot and ready for the plates. Now I'm going to turn you down and get you ready. I'll bring you down. So you can see the plate. And uh, what I'm gonna do is to put some on each plate. get those. I'm going to get something for my hands. I basted them twice and certainly if you wanted to baste them another time you could because there is plenty of sauce. Plenty of sauce as you can see. You can still use or use it for something else. Do whole the chickens later on this week. So I have salad on this place. I'm going to uh, add Serve this with a ranch dressing. It would be pretty appropriate with uh, with wings. And there we go. Now, ranch dressing, and that's going to be it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed being a part of this. Just trying to get everything ready. I'm going to turn you down just a little more. You can see the plates, and uh, we are ready for dinner. So, I'm uh, getting the any day over anything else so there we go all right we got our dressing and we're going to say the blessing and we're going to be ready to eat so god bless you all and i will see you again in the kitchen <laughs>